Lake Kivu in Rwanda is one of East Africa's Great Lakes. The beautiful landscape is attracting tourists for kayaking and fishing with hopes to generate a lot of revenue for the country. But something even more valuable is hidden deep within this lake. We're going 14 kilometers offshore to see the Kivu Watt project. It's where they're extracting methane gas from below the surface of the lake. It's the only project like it in the world. This barge took seven years to construct and lies on the lake's border with the Democratic Republic of Congo. The engineers here work 24 hours a day in 12-hour shifts, monitoring the conditions of the lake. Kivu is highly saturated with gases, including methane and carbon dioxide, from millions of years of decomposition and volcanic activity. These gases are kept under pressure at significant depths. The lake is 480 meters deep. However, any disturbance to the lake from seismic activity or a lava flow could result in the gases leaking out. Kivu is one of only three known lakes in the world where the specific conditions for this catastrophic event could occur. They are known as the killer lakes. In 1986, a similar lake, Lake Nios in Cameroon, suffered a carbon dioxide leak. The resulting gas cloud killed over 1,700 people in nearby villages and all other living creatures in its path. If the gases in Lake Kivu escaped, it could have even more deadly consequences. It's over 1,700 times bigger than Lake Nios, and over 2 million people live around it. In, in Lake Kivu, there's a lot of concentration here, which of course is far much more than what we have in Lake Nios. And this is why it is very, very important to embark on such projects, so as to reduce the content of the gas on the lake bed. There are 300 billion cubic meters of carbon dioxide and 60 billion cubic meters of methane in the lake. Safely extracting the methane will help generate electricity for Rwanda, something it desperately needs. This project is contributing about 30% to the, to the need of the country. 30%? Yes. That's impressive. So that's 30% wasn't there before you started? Which was not there before, exactly. Large pipes below the barge bring in the gas-saturated water. This water is forced into a separator. At a certain depth, the gas starts to separate from the water. The phenomenon there is uh, one we would liken to like a, opening a bottle of champagne. When you are allowing the water to be siphoned upwards, then uh, it's also boosted by the leg pressure itself that is pushing the water upwards. Water with a mixture of carbon dioxide, methane and hydrogen sulfide is sent to the barge's wash towers and cleaned. The carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide are removed. The degassed water is returned to the lake and methane is delivered by a suspended pipeline to the shore-based power plant for electrical generation. This is a definition of innovation. Building the project right from the design stage up onto construction and now into operation Currently, 51% of Rwandans have access to electricity. By 2024, the government hopes that will rise to 100%. The Kivu Watt project plans to deploy three additional barges here to help the country reach this ambitious target.